of adding value to your place. And if you are looking to get inspired, it doesn't get bigger than this. Granny Flats are the solution to a whole heap of reno problems. More space for much less renovation chaos. They're an efficient and affordable way to extend. But for Debbie, there are other reasons why a granny flat was perfect for her situation. In the long run, I've got two young daughters that may need somewhere to live and I've also got parents that one day, if they need, that I could help them out. So you're giving yourself options for the future, really? Absolutely. And that you know, it'll, it'll look great too. What's the, the makeup of the actual rooms okay. within it? Okay, it'll be like a kitchenette and living space, yep. um, bedroom um, and combined bathroom and laundry. So just in a couple of weeks from now, this is going to be a totally different backyard. Are you excited or nervous? I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for you. Don't let me think. What colour is the word rebel in rebel sport? Black. Black. Red. A single mum with three daughters and a full-time job, Debbie's got a lot on her plate already. But through her work as a family therapist, someone very special came into her life. I met Christy when she was 12 when she came into our program. She was having trouble at school as well and helping her get through her different stages. We, we had a special bond. Yeah. So um, <laughs> as she got older, she found herself pregnant and in a bit of a situation. She's due next month, so to have her to have somewhere which is be independent but also have support was a really big thing to consider. And you guessed it, our granny flat's first role is to be a home for Christy and her new bub. You guys are also going to get back so much from having this another little darling baby around. Oh, absolutely. I can't wait to meet her. Yeah. How exciting. The beauty of going prefab is that it doesn't interrupt your day-to-day -day life nearly as much as a normal reno. And that means less mess and less stress. Well, here it is, Debbie's brand new nine metre long home. And craning it into a backyard, that's not for the faint hearted. Andrew, you're like the calmest human being in the world. I'm having a heart attack watching this. I know it might look like it's a bit hectic, but <laughs> it does. yeah, um, I've seen it many times before, and look, this is probably one of the simpler jobs. Are you, are you joking? One of the simpler ones, yes. So, how does this size of the portable home compare to what you offer? That's about our medium size. Wow. Uh, we do go up to a 14 metre. Now, yeah. pricing wise? Um, for the one like uh, Debbie's bought, you're looking at about $30,000. Okay. Um, and they go up to about $48,000. All right, so that's obviously fully fitted fully out. Fully fitted out. But you can get it at different stages that like we've done now where we're going to fit it out. Exactly, Jada. We'll build it to whatever level the customer wants. I'll try and save them some money. That is brilliant. And what are you looking at as far as time wise? You're looking at four to six weeks for our buildings. Four to six four weeks? Four to six weeks, yeah. So how are you able to do it like that? Oh, a lot of guys <laughs> that know what they're doing. And obviously, you're in a contained space to be building. Yeah, so, so we've got a big factory. Uh, back in Queanbeyan. Everything's sort of streamlined and got the processes down pat. Getting very close to the house. Give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> we want to turn this granny flat and backyard into something special for Debbie. So we've set ourselves a budget of 50 grand. All right, Pete, bring it out. Debbie spent $25,000. Remember, it's not fitted out. So that leaves us 25 grand to split between the interior fit out and the surrounding landscaping. Just the two men I was hoping to see. That's an official life. <laughs> <laughs> look, it really isn't. How fabulous does a granny flat look? Awesome. All the hard work's done. Look, it is, but we need to turn it into a home now. Yeah, we want to make it look like it's meant to be here. Yep. I reckon that's something we can do. Got it covered? Yeah, definitely. You're going to be involved, Griggs. No, I can't wait. Go have a look inside. You're the brains. Oh God, we're in trouble. So Adam and Jason, we have quite a challenge ahead of us. You do understand we're under time pressure here. We have a baby on the way. Congratulations. <laughs> not me, definitely oh. not me. Congratulations. <laughs> we actually don't don't say not me. <laughs> not okay, so we have time pressure. We also want to set ourselves a challenge of getting this place ready for under 50 grand. Yeah. So I want your ideas for inside and out. So a lot of that's already gone in what we're looking at. Yeah, we, we have a little bit of a spend. All right, well, what I reckon is because you've got the house and the granny flat, you want to make it feel like it's a house, yep. not a tack line. So I'm actually going to build a garden, a bit like an amphitheater, and face the green, because that is an asset. All right, well, it is a huge yard, so you better get started. And let's go have a look inside. <laughs> Good work, oh. Jase. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Come on, Dan, you can help me, mate. What do you think, Ed? Hey, this is a fantastic space, isn't it's it? Great. Right. Hey, now everyone says they'd love a blank canvas. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely it. It is. Look, we've got the flooring and skirting sun, painting in. It's all wired up with electrical, ready to go. The yeah. plumbing is ready to, to basically be connected. 
But this is where you're allowed to be creative. We need to think space-saving ideas, multi-purpose furniture if we can. Yeah, definitely. For here, we're thinking possibly a galley kitchen across the back. With compact appliances, a bit of bench space and plenty of storage. And then what, the lounge room here? Yeah, lounge room here. Bedroom, we need to consider there's going to be a cot in there, so it's kind of a bedroom come nursery, yeah, but storage. Yeah, storage, definitely, yeah. But I need your genius in the bathroom. Well, yeah, because we need to get a laundry in, obviously, as yeah. well. Combined bathroom, laundry, you're going to have a shower. I've definitely got some good ideas, but even coming out, obviously, when we came in here, yeah. the big step, so when you come out to a nice deck, okay. and then you can step down onto Jace's amphitheatre area, too. Will you still be able to maybe have like, work with Jace, have some foliage? to soften the front? Yeah, I can do a step in. So, obviously, at the front when you're looking at the uh, granny flat. So, right. yeah, definitely. Excellent. Joe, whatever you want, I can make happen. Well, I'll <laughs> work with you. <laughs> it's good practice for you with your baby on the way. <laughs> no mucking around here. <laughs> Boys and their toys. Well, if you're not going to help me, I'm going to help myself. <laughs> That's <Good> awesome. <laughs> It'll get rid of the grass and then I'll be able to level this off. I reckon I could probably lift this thing with it. Well, you're at it. You want to chuck the auger on and dig me holes for me? Ah, oh, didn't bring the auger, brother. <laughs> but you bought your cannons. Well, you know what? While you guys get down to the hard work, I have some hard work of my own. I'm going shopping. Oh, no worries. <laughs> Favourite job. Say hello to the staff of Bunnings for me. I will. <laughs> All right, out of my way. So with the first attachment, I can break up the grass. It's just a matter of moving the trencher over the surface to scuff it up. Yeah, because Jace is busy out the back digging the holes for me, I want to keep things moving. So I'm making a subfloor out the front in two sections. That way, I can just carry it in and attach it to the post. Now, because Jace wanted to plant some greenery up against the granny flat just to break up that front face, I've stepped the second frame in a little bit, which will leave him a 500 mil gap to plant. You all right, John? Yep. I positively despise clothes shopping, but if I'm shopping for things for around the home, I could do it all day. Now, here we're looking for a kitchen and we want to save some dollars. So the easiest way to do that is a caboodle kitchen. Sure, it's do-it-yourself. Takes a little bit more time, but it sure does save you on the money front. Now, as far as colour schemes, we're going to stick with one of the classics, black and white. And the reason we're sticking with this colour scheme is we want what is a small room to look as big as we can, even though it's going to be jam-packed full of storage. All right, next up, a sink. Now, the tip here is you don't want to have anything that's too oversized in the kitchen. We just want a compact sink with a little drain. And that looks like it'll fit the bill. This, cord safe. So in the bathroom, much like the kitchen, if you buy your shower screen in a modular pack and do it yourself, you will save money. All you have to do is make sure you get your acrylic shower wall. You'll still have to waterproof. You get your little base and you get your frame shower screen. Now, all up, a modular thing like this, that's some $500. Bargain. Time to get a mixer. You know, I actually once got a mixer for my anniversary from my husband. That's how much I love this sort of stuff. So let's have a look. I just want something pretty basic. Square profile. Let's have a look. What's that one? Rococo. Rococo. Time to pay. Might even do it by tap and go. I got a plan. It's not pretty, but it's practical. So here's your deck. You're coming out two metres here. 1900, yeah. 1900. I'm thinking I'm going to put a little retaining wall in, and because you wanted me to dig your holes, Are you gonna... I have organised the trench. Oh, he's got an auger. How so good's that? You mark him out, yeah. I'll dig him out. I'll tell you what, see, it's not, it's not true what they say about you, Jace, is it? Oh, no, it is. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> With the bucket attachment, I can start to move the soil and level out for my amphitheatre. It costs about $500 a day for the machine and the attachment. But if you think how much it costs for a contractor to come in, it really does make it worthwhile. So, while Jace tidies up out the back, 
I'll put together the kitchen out the front. So we've got our cabinets here, one box open. Now the tip is, you've heard it before, make sure that you have all your bits before you get started. And unless you are a person who does this all the time, keep your instructions there. Honestly, if you follow it step by step, you cannot go wrong. So we're starting with our back piece. And our top piece. And everyone has their own little way of doing it. I like to just put my screw through it, line it up with the pilot hole. And then here we go. One down, many to go. Now another little tip, don't lose all these little bits. They actually cover your little screw holes and these are also little door buffers. So the ones that you're actually putting doors onto, it just means they won't slam against it. Easily lost when you're clearing up your rubbish. Now the digging's done, I've swapped the bucket for an auger attachment to dig the post holes. It's like a Swiss Army knife on tracks. We're using wrapper set to put the posts in. This is the start of the wall that surrounds the amphitheatre. Done a good job screwing these cabinets together, Joe. Thank you very much. That's four fifty for a dishwasher there, roughly. Perfect. Hey, I tell you what. Now Hodges managed to turn the outside into what looks like a motocross track. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely has ripped or it apart. Pool. <laughs> so kitchens coming together. We've got all these. But yeah. what do you want to do design-wise? What's your little plan? Well, where I am is the dishwasher. Yeah. Yeah, and then we're going to have uh, the sink in here. Yes. Then we'll have some drawers. Then an oven. Yeah, oven. And, and then, then we'll have a little cupboard next to the oven. And then where you are, in the corner. Bang. I think we're turning this granny flat into a home. It's yeah. starting to feel like yeah. it. Yeah. I'm, I'm pumped. So let's get the rest of these let's in. Good. A little slim line. Oh, oh cute. Carcass is in. Hey, now the only thing we haven't discussed is splashback. We're going tiles? Yeah, I think we should tile. It's only a small space. Yeah, definitely. Maybe some big tiles. Yeah, a large pool. It was like, what, six by three? Six by three. That way we cut down on money. Only a few cuts around the power. <laughs> we'll be right. Too late. <laughs> too easy. It's probably you going to be doing it, so uh, knock yourself out. No worries. <laughs> Now that Jason's dug the holes for my veranda, we can just bring in the subfloor, level it up, and set it in concrete. For the decking boards, I'm just using treated pine. Not only is it budget friendly, but it's also time friendly because you can get yourself a clout gun and it makes the process a lot quicker, unlike hardwood where you have to screw it down. How fast is that? And with the decking complete, I can't wait to see what Jace does with the rest of the backyard. This backyard's got a nice gentle slope to it, but for the area where you're going to entertain, the dance floor, you want it to be nice and flat so you can stand comfortably. That means we end up with a large step, about 400 mil, which just happens to be the height of a seat. So these two retaining walls, there's going to be my seating for about 20 or 30 people, creating that amphitheatre. This bamboo screening is old and daggy, and if we left it here, it would be letting down the whole backyard. So, it's got to go, and I'm replacing it with a new timber feature wall. Get out! It's looking better already. A little bit. Now, this is a simple design with great effect. I'm just using the same boards as I did on the deck and making the gaps bigger as I work up the wall. That way, it allows light into the back of the house and also keeps it ventilated. To finish off our screen, I'm just using this grey and I'll be using the same colour on the deck as well. And while I'm at it, the fence needs a refresh too. I've chosen this colour paint to complement the granny flat. Now, paint is a great budget way to bring these old fences back to life again. And by the time we're finished, this backyard is going to be looking brand new. Now, most people, when they're thinking of an entertaining area, will think pavers, maybe concrete and dressing it up with a colour, or a deck. Crushed granite at a pinch. Well, I thought outside the square, and I'm using hardwood sleepers. You can buy these for the fraction of the price that you'd buy a nice, expensive paver. It gives you a really nice setting. It ties into the retaining walls. 
Material-wise, for the walls and the floor, I've spent about 1300 bucks. Now, if that was brick for the walls and pavers down here, it'd probably be five times the price, plus you'd have to get tradesmen in. This, it's a good look at a fraction of the price. All we need now is the edgy, so people can park themselves. And then fill it up with road bucks. You can get a ton of this for around 60 bucks, and I'll need three or four to go in here. To decorate it, I'm putting a more expensive river pebble over the top. It's a bit like icing a cake. And I've got a good use for the spare pebbles. If you're planning on renting out the new flat, think about tidying up the side entrance to allow for private access, which equals more money. The adders made great progress with the new kitchen. The bench top and sink are in, along with a cutout for the stove top. How nice does this look? Joe's picked a lovely bench top. Next, that simple splashback in large format tiles. The best thing about using big tiles instead of lots of small ones is there's very minimal grouting to be done. Joe, how good's that? Looks good all grouted up, doesn't it? Yeah, I like the dark bench top as well. That's very nice, it is. It makes it easier when you've got a good tiler, doesn't it? <laughs> It'll be good if I put the door on the right way. No, why not? <laughs> should we do the little cooktop first? Get this in. You right? Yeah. Cool is that? It's a cute little dishwasher, huh? And perfect because there's only mum and bub in here. So you yeah. don't need one bigger than that. That's fantastic. Laying turf's an easy job. It's a little bit messy. But there's a couple of things that I really like to concentrate on to make sure that the turf gets established as quick as possible. First one, my old gag, lay the grass green side up. Second one is make sure you lay it on something that's going to be free draining, light and fluffy, but not too fluffy that when you walk over it, you see your footprint. You want the roots from here to get established as quick as possible so the grass doesn't go backwards, thrives through summer, looks good all year round, and that means with deep, long roots, it'll be drought tolerant. As far as getting it established, I don't think you can overwater new turf like this. For the first three to four weeks, I'd try and keep everyone off, including dogs, and water it to the point where it's underfoot. Then the roots will be established and you can back it off to once a week. Now, you would have seen modular showers like this in Bunnings. They come in three parts. So basically, first of all, you choose what shape sort of bottom you want and have a look at where your drain goes because you can have them centered or put to the side. You then also choose your backing sheets and then the shower itself. Now, we've just gone for plain glass. The reason why, this is quite a small room, but it does give the effect of a bigger space when you can see through it. The slimline vanity we've chosen is so that when you walk through the door, you don't feel cramped the second you walk in. We also have a slimline cabinet here, toilet in the corner, and in the other corner, one day they can have washing machine and a dryer. So even though it is a small room, we have jam-packed a lot in. Now all we need are the finishing touches. Things are looking good. This room is starting to take shape, but we obviously have to think of sort of multi-purpose pieces of items in here, and this is a great solution for not having a dining table as such, but having extra bench space that could be used as a table. Well, it's just two 600 cabinets, drawer yep. cabinets, and um, yeah, with the same bench top, we just need to put the backing panel on so we can clean this side up and away we go. Okay, beautiful. Doctor, I'll be your assistant. Hopefully I've given you the right size screws. You have, you've even put a couple in for me, all pre-done, love it. Nice and light, isn't it? <laughs> so easy to figure out. <laughs> now it's on wheels. It is. It's easy. That's it. Look at that. It just glides. That's great. Yeah. Love it. What about bench top, huh? Yeah, we're already ready to go. Dining table, breakfast bar. Storage unit, all in one. It's a great space saver. There's no getting around the fact that plants aren't cheap. All up, I've spent around six grand, but the effect is definitely worth it. You've always got to choose where you want to spend your money, but we're still on track to come in under 50 grand. So, it's all good. The little garden bed that Adam left me is going to be perfect for these Himalayan blue bamboo. Now, the reason I picked them is because you can already see here that you're not going to hedge them up formally. They're going to be soft. And as practical as this little granny flat is, it does need softening. So they can grow up. You could even prune them here underneath the window if you like. Whatever height you prune them at, that stem will stay at that height. 
I've continued the same thing over here, even though we've screened off the back of the house. Same bamboo is going to soften that, make that back room a little bit cooler for everyone. And then I've gone a little bit more Australian traditional over here with my favourite hedge. A little lily pilly. Hedge up nice and neat, and it might even screen off more than one fence. You can't have a great little granny flat without a garden, and you can't have a garden without great plants. We're on a roll. All that's left is to add some furnishings. Oh. Are you ready? <laughs> a few decorations. And that's better. that feminine touch. There we go. Great thing about this is we can obviously take the fire pit away when the little ones are running around, but late at night when they're tucked up in bed, right. sit around here and relax. Oh, that is awesome. That's where the fun begins. Yeah. But the big question is, did we come in under budget? You're going to love this. We came in just under 50 grand. Oh, that's an awesome <laughs> job. Yeah. So how do we spend the money? Remember, Debbie paid 25 grand for the container, the interior fit out plus furniture and appliances, 9,200. Outside, we spent just under nine grand on landscaping, plants and turf, and our digger, which was $500 per day. The deck and screen came to two and a half grand, so all up, around $46,000. this precious little bundle. Hi guys, how Hi, are you going? How are you going? Good. Christy, she's perfect. What do you call her? Aliana. Aliana. I'm proud of how she's going, Debbie. Oh, she's done absolutely wonderful and Aliana's just improving every day. She's so long, isn't she? Like, look at the size she of her is. feet and her little fingers. She's gorgeous. Yeah. Have you had a sneak peek or have you been really, really disappointed? No, I've wanted to go out there. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> well, at least you've been a bit distracted. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. This is the fun part. You ready? Yeah. Ready. All right, let's go. Well, what a difference a dream makes. Even better when it comes true like Debbie's has. You've got much more than you know. Come have a look. Come on. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't look like your yard at all. <laughs> it's so different. It doesn't look like your yard. Oh my gosh. I think we walked into someone else's yard. It doesn't look like a house. How old is it, guys? How old is it? Oh, awesome. It looks so different. Goosebumps. Oh my god. <laughs> look at you have goosebumps in this heat. You must have done a lot. I've got goosebumps <laughs> listening to me. It doesn't look like your yard. Oh my gosh. What happened to it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> the fence. So different. Trees <laughs> and green grass. It's all the same. Look at that fire pit. That is so such an improvement on what was there before. And the great thing is the retaining wall, the whole way around becomes seating, so yeah. you could be sitting out here. All right, well, Debbie, that's a pretty good reaction. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens when they go in there. You ready to see inside? You ready yes. for more? Yes. <laughs> All right. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you. Come on in. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Oven, cooktop, you've got a dishwasher in the corner. Oh, cute. <laughs> Fridge is over here. <laughs> I feel like I'm in like some show home in some fancy <laughs> estate. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Want to see the bedroom? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What do you think? Wow, I like the colour yeah. of the bed. You like yeah. it, Aliana? <laughs> what do you think? Are you happy with the greens and the pinks? And you've got a bathroom, so you've got the shower and the toilet. Um, you've got room for you to put in the washing machine and the dryer, so that's all there as well. So you're totally self-contained in here. <laughs> well, that's great. I know where to come for a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't have to travel far. Well, let's go see the rest of the family, hey? Absolutely. Everyone out. Space, Everyone's out here? Yeah, definitely. That's fantastic. Hi. Hey. <laughs> what did you think, guys? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Just <laughs> exceeded expectations. And the amount of stuff that's in there is just unbelievable. Yeah, we definitely uh, used every single bit of space that we had. Yeah, and there's still a lot of room. Yeah. Just... Speaking of the rest of the family, you're all here. What do you think? Looks good, yeah. Um, can't wait to have lots of parties out here. It doesn't look like Mum's backyard anymore. <laughs> oh, well, so all over from the whole team. We wish you guys lots of luck for the future. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, good luck, guys. Absolutely Rose. amazing. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Joe. To make something happen like someone, someone like me. Oh, <laughs> you're beautiful, don't you? I just really appreciate it. It's been a big process for you, hasn't it? I mean, this is months yeah. and months of planning, years and years of saving. Yeah, and it was a big decision to, to make. And then to have this is like absolutely the best thing ever. Thank you. 
God, I'm crying. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's all pull it together now. This is going to be a fantastic space. I'm excited to see the parties that you have up here. Let's suck the tears up. This is very emotional. I'm trying to stay strong. I'm the man around here. <laughs> what the happy tears. Happy tears. <laughs> <laughs> okay.